In this video, I will introduce you to the new second generation TID Radio H8 GMRS radio that is inside this nondescript box. Now, as some of you may know, this radio has quite a sordid history. TID Radio first sent me one of the first pre-production models of this radio almost one year ago and asked me for my feedback, and I had much feedback to give them. Several months later, they released the radio for sale and then pulled it from sale. They made some changes and then they released it again for sale. And then I don't know what happened, but they pulled it off of the market again to make more changes. But now the new second generation TID Radio H8 GMRS version is available. The GMRS version of the H8 was initially and originally planned to be a 10 watt GMRS radio, but somewhere along the line, TID Radio changed that and it is now only a 5 watt radio, which means the battery is going to last a lot longer. The price for the new TID Radio second generation H8 GMRS radio is $70 and the price for the value pack, which I am currently holding in my previously butter stained fingers is $90. The value pack comes with some extra stuff of which I will reveal to you momentarily and you will find affiliate links to just the single radio itself or the value pack. below. And yes, TID Radio did send me this radio at no cost so that I could share it with you, my favorite viewer. When you purchase the new TID Radio second generation H8 GMRS value pack, in the box you will find this very nice customer support card made not of paper or cardboard, but of actual waterproof plastic telling you where you can download additional information, software, the user manual, and how to contact the TID Radio man for customer support. You will find a user manual, 52 or 53 pages long, very well written, not perfect, but very well written in good English. It goes over all the features, all the menu items, has several examples of how to actually use the radio, and it is one of the better user manuals that I have seen with these lower cost radios. You will receive a belt clip and assorted belt clip hardware. The belt clip affixes to the radio, not the battery, so that every time you change the battery, the belt clip stays on the radio. There are also some labels that you can write your name and classroom and period on that you can put inside the radio underneath the battery for identification purposes. You will receive this very thick and wide and luxurious wrist strap. Some people may refer to this as a lanyard. They obviously have no fashion sense. As everyone knows, this is a wrist strap. You will receive a USB charging block. One end goes into the holes in your walls. One, you, you will receive this cable as well. One end of the cable goes into the charging block. The other end goes into the USB portion of the batteries, which with the value pack, you will receive two of. If you purchase just the radio alone, you will receive only one battery. Batteries are 2,500 milliamp hours each, and they do have a USB-C charging port, as well as a charging indicator LED. You will receive the stock antenna, and if you purchase the value pack, you will receive this higher quality 771 antenna, which looks suspiciously a lot like a Nagoya 771G antenna, but it doesn't say Nagoya on it. If you purchase just the radio individually and do not purchase the value pack, you will not receive the 771 antenna. 
If you purchase the value pack, you will also receive this handsome hand microphone and speaker. One end goes into the radio, the other end clips to your shirt so that you can then press the button to talk and impress the chicks. This only comes with the value pack if you purchase just the radio itself. You do not receive the hand microphone. And you will receive the new second generation TID Radio H8 GMRS radio. Now, right off the bat, the one thing, this is the only thing that I do not like about this radio, the only physical thing that I do not like about this radio is that this battery clip is very tight. And once you clip it, you will not get this battery clip off without using some sort of tool or implement unless you have superhuman fingernails. I suppose this is a good thing. This way it will not come loose during vigorous GMRS activities. However, I am more accustomed to batteries that you can remove and replace without the need for a tool or implement. The radio has all of the standard buttons and knobs that one would expect on a GMRS radio. On the top, you have the volume on and off, a fairly bright flashlight, a hole for the antenna, either the stock antenna that comes with the single radio or the 771 Nara Nagoya antenna that comes with the value pack. The value pack comes with both. Alarm button, push to talk button, programmable function buttons, dust door for connecting your programming cable or the handheld microphone that comes with the value pack. That plugs in right there. This is a standard K1 type connector, the same that you find in most of these low cost type radios, the same that you find on your Boofwang type radios. The value pack does not come with a charging cradle. If you purchase just the radio itself, it does come with a charging cradle, but because I have the value pack, I did not get a charging cradle, but it is not needed because it has the standard USB-C plug and the charging plug and charger. The radio has a bright color screen that does fairly well in bright sunlight. VFO MR button for switching between channel mode and VFO mode for directly entering frequencies. A Bluetooth button. We will talk more about that momentarily. And AB for switching between your upper and lower display. The buttons are pretty much like the buttons on any other radio. Channel up and down, menu, exit, blah, blah, blah. And the radio has all of the features that one would expect in a GMRS radio at this price point. 199 programmable channels. It does split tones. You can program and store multiple repeaters on the same frequency, but with different tones. And this radio can also receive NOAA channels. It can receive the two meter and 70 centimeter ham bands and commercial FM radio. It receives on all of those frequencies. It only transmits on GMRS frequencies. Unlike many GMRS radios, the H8 can take firmware updates so they can make changes to the radio. You can then upload them and update the firmware. However, I was not able to get the software needed to perform the updates to work properly on my Windows 11 computers. So that is something they need to work on. They tell me that it should work on Windows 11, but it does not work on either of my Windows 11 computers. Now I have seen some complaints on the interweb about spurious RF emissions on the ham version of this radio. And my response to that is, as a GMRS user, I do not care. The FCC certified this radio for use on GMRS, and if the FCC did not do their job, that is an FCC problem, not a me problem. It is not my job to go around pretending that I am a self-appointed FCC deputy. And just for clarification, even if this radio does have an embarrassing problem of squirting RF emissions, that is not going to affect 99% of normal people using this radio in any realistic or significant way. So when you see a video or read some People breathlessly ranting about the dangers of spurious RF emissions on this or any other radio. Let them know that they might need a hug. And of course, as with any quality radio, this radio does have a Roger beep. However, the Roger beep has no side tone. This means that only the people listening to you can enjoy your Roger beeping. You, sadly, will not hear it. 
This radio is compatible with Chirp, so you can easily program it with your Windows, Mac, or Linux computers using the free Chirp software. But by far, the best feature of this radio, which sets it apart from nearly all other GMRS radios, is that you can press this button and you can then program it wirelessly via an app on your phone with no cable and no computer needed. And for many people, this is a huge feature. All you have to do is install the OD Master app. Now in the past, the biggest complaint about this app is that it required you to create a login and give them your email address. And a lot of people were much unhappy about this and a lot of people refused to even buy this radio because of this. In fact, it was my biggest complaint in my feedback to TID Radio. We should not be forced to give up our email address just so that we can program our radios. So in response to the very real consumer outrage, TID Radio has added a new option to skip the login when using the app. What I am saying is, in case you're not following along, a login is no longer needed to use this app. This will allow you to program the radio, but there are a few advanced features that are only available with a login, which I will mention momentarily. Without any login at all, the app allows you to change radio settings and program all of your channels and do pretty much everything. And unlike the previous older versions, I was able to connect and read to the radio and make changes and write everything back to the radio on the very first try with no issues. And this is a huge improvement from the earlier version of the radios. You may optionally also use your computer to do the programming via the OD Master website wirelessly, meaning that you make your changes on the OD Master website, you then sync your changes back to the app and thusly back to the radio wirelessly, all without ever connecting to your computer. This allows you to use the big keyboard and big screen on your computer instead of your tiny phone. But to do that, you will need to create a login. Otherwise, you can do everything on the app and program it wirelessly through the blue teeth. As previously mentioned, TID Radio originally planned for the GMRS version of the H8 to output 10 watts, but they have apparently changed their mind somewhere along the way and have instead made the second gen a 5 watt radio. And no doubt, some people will leave comments declaring that this is a major issue and a major problem. However, what some people will fail to grasp amongst other things in their sad little lives is that pretty much all GMRS handheld radios are 5 watt radios. And most of the time, in most cases and in most situations, on average, usually most people will not notice any difference in FARs between 5 watts and a 10 watt radio. However, what they will notice is that on a 10 watt radio, the battery will not last nearly as long as it does on a 5 watt radio. So the box says this should be a 5 watt radio. Let's test that. And as you can see, this radio is outputting 4.53 watts. That is very close to the 5 watts as expected and closer to 5 watts than most 5 watt radios actually output. So as you just saw, this radio is outputting almost exactly 5 watts. And what I was saying previously is that 4 or 5 watts is just fine. And to prove that claim, I have my friend Chris at his house 10.1 miles away listening right now on his TID radio H8 GMRS walkie-talkie using his stock antenna that came with the radio. So I am going to call Chris using this radio and this stock antenna on a simplex channel. That means direct radio to radio, no repeater, to see how his TID radio H8 GMRS walkie-talkie sounds from 10.1 miles away. Chris, how do you copy? How do I sound on my new TID radio H8 GMRS? walkie-talkie. You sound good, Randy. Little bit of a hiss, but uh, legible, loud and clear. One, two, three, four, five. How do I sound? Oh, you sound good. What kind of radio are you using, Chris? Tell us. What 
kind of radio do you have? Kid Radio, H8 Randy. So as you just saw with your own ears, this 5-watt radio sounds just fine even at 10.1 miles away. However, it is very important to note that Chris and I have very good line of sight between us. Not perfect line of sight, but very good line of sight. This means there are no mountains, no hills, no forests, and only a few trees and houses full of fat people to block our signal. In other words, your FARs will vary. Chris and I also tested the 771, not a Nagoya antenna, that came with my value pack, and it did make a slight improvement in signal quality over the stock antenna. So should you purchase the new second-generation TID Radio H8 GMRS radio? If you are looking for a decent GMRS radio with a nice color screen, then sure, this is a good little radio. But if what you are looking for is a decent GMRS radio that you can wirelessly program from your phone, then absolutely you should buy this radio.